This is uh, currently on 2.3, so I'm going to show you how to do the darkness path. You can check what path is currently blocked by going to the beast tab, and then it'll tell you what tunnel is currently blocked. I'm on 40% in rage. I've done two kills today. Uh, a couple things before we get started is uh, Araxor is immune to all familiar damage, so taking a hill of your damage type is going to be the best way to go forward. Um, or Pakyak, or Tortle, Tortoise, or, or whatever your best beast of burden is. Uh, you're going to want a shields so that you can switch and use uh, resonance every now and then. Um, you're going to want to have hotkeys for anticipate and freedom. And then you're going to want to fill up the rest of your inventory with food, some brews, overloads. Uh, Rax does use poison, so if you have venom blood on something, then that's pretty good. Uh, Anti-poison also works pretty well, but keep in mind that it will be worn down throughout the fight. Uh, you, can take, you can take a uh, luck ring for when you loot the body at the end. You don't have to worry about it. You can just put it on at the end. You don't, it's a very low stress situation. Just, just make sure it's in your inventory. Um, ring of death. If your death costs are going to be over 700,000 to, to get some practice and keep those death costs down. And I would recommend taking an illuminated book of war that is activated since it does give you a little bit of an accuracy bonus on racks. But not much, but it does make a difference to a, uh, to a certain extent. Uh, you don't want to take the best range gear that you can. If you want to use mage, you can, but it is a harder fight. Range is the easiest style to learn with. Um, Armadil and, and Glaives are, are perfectly fine to learn racks with. And we're going to go ahead and hop in. Uh, if you have a Reckless Aura, you could use that. For learning, I would recommend using just a typical uh, Accuracy Aura rather than a... Um, a uh, Berserk Aura, but it's perfectly fine anyway. We're going to start by burning down the web on the darkness path over here and drinking my overload, putting on my Ring of Vigor. We're going to swap to Mage Pair, use the Death Swiftness, swap back to the Ring and Adrenaline Pot. Rax will always spawn with the style that is weak to, uh, to what you are using. That is the web. I'll go ahead and resonance the hit from the, uh, the reflect there. If you don't resonance it, you will just take the damage. The higher in rage, the more damage you'll take from it. Uh, at low in rage, as long as you click away as soon as you see it, it's not really going to get you. Uh, Rax does five auto attacks in between each spec. So we've got a fourth auto attack here, and then we'll have another spec in a moment. So I just went ahead and freedoms. We'll have one auto attack, two auto attacks, three auto attacks. Four auto attacks and a spec in a moment here. This is the cocoon. You just want to click away. If you haven't anticipated a freedom, you'll take five hits or six if you clicked a little bit slowly. Again, on low and rage, it's pretty forgiving, so you don't really have to worry about it all that much. Uh, this is the. I, uh, I managed to click away before it happened, so I'll go ahead and reso something on that one. And uh, Rex is down to about 10 to 5k health. I like to walk through into the next zone. This is the darkness path. We can save some prayer by turning that off. If you have your enhanced Excalibur, you can go ahead and use that at the moment as well if you need that HP. You want to stand in the light and you get attacked by projectiles coming from all sides of the screen. Just keep an eye out. This is going to be the fireball. You want to stand on the eggs. Uh, the more eggs that it hits, the less damage it does to you. If, uh, if you don't explode the eggs, then you will... Uh, Take more damage, and spiders will spawn from the eggs. This is the mage hit. There was a range hit in there that uh, that you might have been able to see. This is what it was. It looks a little bit hard to see in the darkness, but with a little bit of practice, you can see it. We're going to get Araxor to charge at us. If Araxor's legs are pointing to the left, we go left. If they're to the right, we go right. If they're in the middle of the screen, we go down. And if they are on both sides of the screen, we go up. So this is to the right, we go to the right. Very simple. We are in P3 right now. I can go ahead and step into the light here for a moment. Keep the damage down. Oops. It's not quite the way you want it to. You don't want to stand in melee range. Araxor will attack you with melee. This is, uh... So in P3, you get all of the mechanics from the previous phases, including uh, both of the phases that are open right now. Um, so we'll go ahead and anticipate here so that we don't get hit by whatever's about to come up. Which was uh, this. So the uh, the highly acidic spiders, you can lure them and then bring them underneath Araxor. There's another one back there. Uh, you can lure them and bring them underneath Araxor. And it will 
he will absorb them. That increases his uh, acidic like level, which increases his enrage, which increases the damage that he does. If you don't lure them under Araxor, then Araxi will uh, use one of her specs to absorb it instead, and uh, you will get higher enrage on that fight instead. Uh, so what I recommend you do is you lure three of the spiders after you get Rax down a little ways on uh, on P3. So there's another highly acidic spider. There's one more mechanic that we haven't seen here yet, so I'll go ahead and make sure that we can show that one off. Live for as long as I have to for this. Go and there will be these underneath there. We will uh, we will survive as long as we have to to, to show off this this other mechanic. So he's at fifty percent acidic level right now. Oops. Now there's uh, there's one more spider left back uh, underneath him somewhere, and I'm going to leave that one so that the uh, uh huh is this the one? No. That just spawned the last spider. So we'll uh, we'll hold on for a little bit here to show off the other mechanic. Got to make sure I'm overloaded and everything's good there. Anticipate whatever's about to happen here, which is a cleave. I, 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 there's, uh, there's one more mechanic, which is the instant kill spider. I would like to show that off in this video if I can. Although he's not using it. He doesn't usually. Um, so you don't usually have to worry about it. It's, uh, it's normally not a problem on Darkness Path with 2-3. Uh, with but I would like to show it off. If you do get pulled into the cleave, you can just walk away as you saw there. I didn't bother doing anything with that. Use a cocoon. I'm going to go ahead and uh, actually... Rezo on that. Okay, didn't quite work out. I switched a little bit too early. Fourth attack and an anticipates. One, two, three, four, and a freedom. There's a cleave. It's one, two, three, four, and it anticipates into, aha, here's the instant spider. So he slammed his legs down and a small ball came out and it left this little thing right here. This spawns an instant kill spider. If you get touched by this, you will die. Um, so just stand away from it and you won't die. It's, uh, it's quite a simple mechanic to avoid. I'm going to go ahead and finish off Araxor here. Don't uh, snipe here because that's going to be bad. Oh, another instant kill spider. We're getting all the instant kill spiders now. So all you want to do is make sure that you're standing away from it. Many people will say to surge away from it. It's not that big of a deal. It moves pretty slowly. You can just walk away. On P3, you want to make sure that you kill Arax or off. And then you go into P4. P4 is going to be Araxi. I like to Adrenaline install at the start. Araxi's first spec will be a... She'll pull in some acidic, some, uh, some acid from the highly acidic spider. And uh, we're going to go ahead and take advantage of that. Make sure that we... I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have ate there. That was a mistake. You have to pray flick throughout this whole phase. The uh, same as the P2 in the other spot. So it's just uh, make sure that you're putting on the range prayer for the range hits and putting on the mage prayer for the mage hits. Not uh, not too big of a deal. Make sure that you are still freedoming and anticipating throughout the fight because she still does use them. On low and rages though, she is very very forgiving. Uh, Rax in general is quite forgiving. Uh, you can make a lot of mistakes, you can take your time, and uh, it's not a big deal. After she gets down to 20,000 health, she'll let out this little ball. Make sure you keep your eye on it. Stay at full health as well. Make sure you're staying up nice and safe. 
You'll take a uh, type plus damage hit, that 1850 there. And that is going to be the ball here. It will jump off of you and then continue bouncing around. It will eventually come back and jump on you again. If your DPS isn't good enough to kill it off before it comes back, just move again. Make sure you're staying up. Don't panic. If you take a couple of hits from full health, you're not going to die. Um, and yeah, that's, uh, that's all there is. You can go ahead and put on your luck ring and then loot the chest for your big old loot. I'm going to take those. And that's it. That's all there is to, uh, to Rax. It's not a very hard fight. It's not a very complicated thing. Um, a lot of people like to make it seem like it is, but it's 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 fairly straightforward, fairly simple, and uh, pretty good fun. Very, very forgiving. Highly forgiving. Um, so go ahead and give it a try. If, if you die a couple of times, it's no big deal. Just, just hop on in and do your best. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.